stocks and crypto are crashing what's going on okay guys so in this video we're going to talk about basically the madness that is going on in the markets now so um as we can take a look here we can see that the nasdaq was down around three percent okay on wednesday and bitcoin as well has crashed below the twenty nine thousand dollar support level so actually uh bitcoin whales like michael saylor are actually in the red on their bitcoin position so there's a lot of things that are going on it's been really 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 crazy time right now so we're just going to talk a little bit about what's exactly going on some ways that you guys can uh, protect yourselves and uh, what i think is going to happen uh throughout the uh, rest of uh this month and this uh this week and even in this year so uh, just to quickly uh before i get into the video guys just remember that there is an old adage on wall street it says uh sell in may and go away so this could potentially be a little bit of what we're seeing. This is usually an, an, uh, an annual thing where you see kind of investors just kind of head for the exits in May and kind of prepare for the summer. And then we kind of see things rebound in the fall season. But I think there's some other issues that are, are, are a lot deeper. So we're going to talk about those in this video. But the good news is, is that we've seen this before. OK, um, for every market uh, after every market crash, there's usually a rebound and a very, very strong rebound because there's a lot of money sitting on the sidelines right now uh, just kind of waiting to see how things play out waiting to be deployed so let's get right into the video guys if you guys enjoy my content please be sure to smash the red subscribe button and to hit the thumbs up as well so um, things were looking kind of good actually as we opened in the morning and then uh, the CPI data came out showing that inflation was still at 8.3 percent in April slightly down from march is 8.5 percent so the, the the increase in the rates has helped with inflation a bit but the problem is is that things haven't uh kind of um gone down as much as people anticipated so inflation is still really really high guys so um basically everything's been more expensive so prices for groceries dining out airline travel everything has been up um basically uh, you know prices have increased quite a bit and uh, that kind of um, that, that that really, really, really put a damper on stocks and crypto today. So we saw a lot of um, stocks sell off. We saw Tesla sell off, MicroStrategy, Coinbase, um, you know, Facebook, a lot of big tech stocks uh, sold off. And of course, crypto and the whole scandal going on with Terra and the UST stablecoin. So, of course, we have the Russia Ukraine issue. We have um lockdowns in shanghai that have extended past an entire month so there's just so many different things going on at the same time it's really kind of hard to, to pinpoint uh one reason why markets are crashing but this is definitely a difficult time just around the world in general there's just so many different things happening at once so like i said uh i made mention my previous video if you guys are trading if you guys are long trading uh, you want to get out of the markets now. You don't want to be long trading stocks, okay? Stocks are going to go much lower. And I'm, when I say that, I'm, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just simply trying to be realistic. So I've been doing a lot of reading and things like that. And basically, you know, inflation and, and, and higher interest rates, okay, this is going to hurt the markets, okay? People usually do a lot of borrowing to get into the markets. And now you're just seeing a lot of issues, okay? People's even their retirement savings are being uh uh, hurt a lot of baby boomers that retired in the last 12 months i'm pretty sure they're looking at their their uh, brokerage accounts right now and wondering do i have to go back to work so this is just not a good time to go long on a lot of stocks okay you know going long on stocks was crushing it during the pandemic but as you can see here if we take a look here let me back up a bit on the uh on we look at the nasdaq here we can say that we're basically almost okay the nasdaq it's way down so all of those basically pandemic gains if most of them have been wiped out so now we're just trading right back around where we were in october 2020 now will we go all the way down to 7k um who knows but it just looks like a lot of the stocks that have been crushing it during the pandemic have all come back down to those uh pre-pandemic levels so will the, the the broader market come down i don't know but I do know that the more they raise interest rates, the more that's going to hurt stocks. So um, anything's possible. I didn't think even Bitcoin would, would go as low as it did. I really thought 30K was a strong support level. And here we are at 28K. So 
Um, you know, I don't want to sit up here and say that uh, things are going to get better right away. I don't really think so. And the whole selling May thing is definitely not uh, not helping the situation. So, and then also we have just a general detrust in crypto in general. Okay, the, the terror, if you guys aren't familiar with this, this, uh, the UST, which was a huge, huge, huge crypto based on market cap. Um, it kind of just completely tanked and just lost its peg with the U.S. dollar. So now a lot of people are looking at crypto and saying, okay, crypto's a scam. Um, a lot of people are dumping their Bitcoin and things like that. And we've just seen crypto across the board. We've seen prices completely fall. Okay, so if we look here, we can see that Terra, the Luna itself, that was down 94%. The PEG, the UST, that's down a bunch. Uh, Bitcoin, as I mentioned earlier, is down a ton. XRP, Cardano's at below 50 cents, Solana, Dogecoin. Um, everything is getting absolutely crushed. People are, are Litecoin, $66. Wow. I mean, so like I said, there's just people are running for the exits, okay? This this whole situation, Decentraland, 76 cents. All these coins that pump, the Ape coin that, 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 that had been on a ridiculous pump, okay? All of the Metaverse coins, right? Everything is down. So people are just saying, I'm done with this. I don't want to play this game anymore. I've lost too much money. They're running for the exits. So what can you do to protect yourself? Okay. So there's a couple of things that I'm personally doing. Like I said, guys, this is not financial advice. Please, please, please do not bet money that you really need because things, I can't guarantee things are going to turn around anytime soon, but this is what I'm personally doing. Okay, so I'll give you guys kind of some examples of what you can do. If you guys are long any stocks, let's say you're long on a stock like Tesla, if you're holding your shares, you should be buying put options, okay? So we talked a lot about this video, put options, and I'm going to be putting out separate videos for put options because I'm trading them on Robinhood to protect my positions because, um, you know, things are going to go much lower. You want to be buying put options to protect against losses, okay? Most likely, if you're holding st growth stocks like Tesla, um, if you're holding stocks like Amazon, Lucid, uh, Coinbase, you're going to have more losses. So it doesn't make sense to just sit there and take losses, okay? If you sell, if you panic sell, then you, you've realized those losses and then you've let, basically, you've probably thrown out a lot of your long-term, um, you know, your, your, a lot of your long-term goals and your long-term investment strategies. We don't, we don't want to do that, okay? We don't want to panic sell. If we're holding for the next one, two, five, ten years, okay? A lot of you guys watching this, you guys probably in your 20s, 30s, 40s, you're probably not going to be retiring for at least the next five years or so, so there's really no reason for you to panic sell. Now, if you guys are over 50 and you want to retire soon, you should probably get out of the market. You don't want to blow up your retirement account, then you have to go back to work. But if you guys are holding long positions, sell puts, okay? It's very easy to sell put options. You just simply... Uh, you can use your existing brokerage. You can set up a different brokerage account. You just want to be setting up put options so you're making a little bit of some money off your stocks going down because most more likely than not, if you guys are holding growth stocks, your stocks are going to be going down. So that's the first thing I would say. Sell put options. Learn how to do it. I'm going to make a completely... I'm going to upload a tutorial video showing you guys exactly how to sell put options. Uh, that's, I don't want to make this video too long. So I just tell you guys, that's the number one thing you should be doing now. You can make money when markets go up and down. So when markets go up, you're going to make money with your long positions. You're going to make money with your call options. When markets go down, you're selling your put options. We want to be making money no matter which direction the market goes in. We don't want to be like, okay, the market's going down. I'm just going to just do nothing. No, we want to make money on both directions. So we constantly have our money growing uh, annually, right? We might not grow our accounts um, you know, month over month, week over week, but over over the years, we want to be growing our accounts. So that's the goal. The second thing you can do when it comes to crypto, okay? So to, for me personally, I hold mostly Bitcoin. Okay, Bitcoin is money, so I'm just DCAing. I'm just dollar cost averaging, okay? I still believe Bitcoin will be well over half a million dollars by 2024, right as the next halving cycle happens. So I'm just continuously buying. Now, for some of you guys out there that are in some of these altcoins and things like that, this is one of the reasons why the majority of my money is in Bitcoin, okay? Altcoins do really, really well during altcoin season pumps, but when, when Bitcoin dumps, altcoins get absolutely hammered. So I don't have any positions in any of these altcoins other than a little bit of Litecoin. I, I would say I have about 95% of my money in crypto in Bitcoin simply because... 
Um, I, I don't want to get caught involved like any of these scandals like uh, Terra was, you know, it's just down. And I don't want to get involved in these. A lot of these coins are great to buy uh, when they're pumping. But if they're pumping, I'm dumping them to buy more Bitcoin. So for me, Bitcoin solved the crypto problem. The rest of the altcoins, they're interesting as well. But for me, Bitcoin's my number one. I have Bitcoin going to, like I said, half a million dollars 2024. By the end of the decade, Bitcoin should be trading at three, four, five, ten million dollars. So that's the coin that I'm interested in the most. Some of these other altcoins, I'd say they're, you guys can uh, dabble if you want. But for me, I'm not really interested right now, especially if the market's going down. And there's not a lot of derivative um, options out there, okay? I, I read somewhere that Coinbase was working on derivatives for crypto. So maybe you could buy like calls and puts. Um, on crypto and they do have some other exchanges out there that you can do derivative trading on okay you can buy uh, futures and stuff like that but for now um, you know I'm just gonna be staying away from a lot of these coins okay if Bitcoin perhaps hits you know um, even low goes even lower maybe 25,000 these coins are just gonna continue to get crushed so this really isn't the time to be buying all coins I think in my opinion we could see lower prices now the good thing is is that um, Bitcoin does have uh, some long-term support okay so there is some long-term support if we take a look at Bitcoin here we just move out the chart we can take a look here then if you look here over the long term okay and uh, we see the long-term support levels of Bitcoin we can see that Bitcoin was the long-term support back in 2017 it was at 20,000 and then right here at 20 8,000 is another kind of support level. So if Bitcoin breaks down below 28,000, we could be headed to a much lower 25,000, 24,000, 23,000. I don't think Bitcoin will hit 20K, but tw about 25K if it breaks down, what it looks like it will, is a strong possibility. So if Bitcoin continues going down, uh, these altcoins will get cheaper. No reason to rush into these altcoins right now. And then the third thing I would say is, is um, really be honest about what your goals are okay uh, if your goals are to make money and trade um, you need to get into you need to short or get into put options you can't go long here this is just not the right environment there's too many problems okay there's too many issues going on long is not working right now so long was working during the pandemic now that we're coming out of the pandemic what's working is short input and then the final thing I would say is, um, uh, you know, take care of yourselves, guys. Don't don't get too emotional over this, okay? Market swings are normal. I know, personally, I'm down 60, 70, 80 percent in some of my positions. And it's really tough because I like a lot of these stocks long term. I really believe that they're going to turn uh, turn around and, and, and good things are going to happen. But it's just not happening right now. So just I think emotional health is really important in these kind of current times with the markets doing what they are. OK, um, just kind of uh, taking care of yourself, making sure you're not, um, you know, losing sleep and, 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 and not eating and you're eating properly and things like that. This is a really important time because a lot of people, as I mentioned earlier, you guys haven't really um, experienced a down market. So for, for a lot of you guys, your first time investors during the pandemic, this is the first time you've experienced a bear market and bear markets suck. They're not fun, but it's part of the game, right? Just like if you play in the NBA, you're playing the NFL, you're not going to go undefeated, most likely. Okay, it's happened before, like with the Dolphins, but going undefeated and things like that, winning all 82 games in the NBA is just impossible. So these are just some of the, the growing pains and the losses that we're going to take as investors. But I really believe things are going to turn around in 2023. So the next six months is going to be tough. So I'm going to be uploading a lot more content because right now I think a lot of people are looking at their portfolios and thinking, damn, what happened? And, you know, um, things things are getting rough. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be wrapping things up. I hope to give you guys a little bit of clarity. Let's see what happens throughout the next little week. Uh, May, is, May is always a tough month. People really, really like to dump. So, let's see what happens, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. And be sure to check out some of the links in the description below. I'm going to be uploading more videos. So, be sure to uh, subscribe as well. So, that's it. Until next time, guys. Take care.